So now that we've done our creative script breakdown, we're going to do our production script breakdown. Now, this step, again, like the creative script breakdown, is absolutely essential. Now, if you're working on a small shoot, if it's just really you that's the driving force behind your film, you probably have to do this yourself. Um, if you're lucky enough to have a production manager or someone like that, they might do this for you. Uh, but either way, you should still learn how to do this and um, the reasons th th that we do it for. Um, <clears throat> the main thing here is that what we're doing is we're generating lists for every scene in your script for every item, every character, every scene, uh, every location, um, every prop, everything that you need to make your film. We're going to generate lists for each scene. That will mean that when you turn up on the day to shoot, you should have everything organised by then. It's also a great tool to uh, budget your film by doing this as well. You can have a, a much better idea of the logistics of actually getting your film made. So the first thing we want to do is, this might be closed when you start the program up. There's a little, you start up your script. Then we click this, the sidebar icon, and you'll get a list here if the breakdown tab is highlighted of different options, actor, additional labor, animal handler, character, construction, electrics, extras, uh, props, costumes, all sorts of different things. And what we're going to do is we're going to create catalog over here in this window just to organize our project a little bit better now what we do here is that every time you add something to your uh, to your script breakdown it will automatically get added into the catalog so for example um, if we go down to props <coughs> excuse me if we go down to props we click OK and you'll get lists of all the props that you've put in to your script and you can do that with actors and wardrobe and you should really do it with every single element of your script so what we're going to do first is we're going to take the first scene we want to highlight the things that are in this scene this is quite a long scene so we'll just uh i'll just show you how to do a couple of little things here and you should get the general idea so first of all let's look at our actors or characters so there's two characters in this scene, Mike and Alan. We highlight Mike, scroll down to character, click add, and you'll notice down here now the character's been added here. Let's highlight the other character, Alan, click add, and now you've got both characters added here. Now, if you want to have more in-depth production notes in your script breakdown which is always a good idea you can double click on the name and you can give a description of the the character you can also highlight the actor if you've added it um, who's playing it you can maybe have taken photographs and add them here just by clicking the add button and down here you get some more uh, in in-depth sort of uh, descriptions of your character which was always a good thing to give to your actors as well so anyway, let's go back to our script so we've highlighted the two characters let's now for example highlight the the uh, costumes that we're going to need for the script so we've highlighted black suits come down here click on wardrobe click add now you'll see down here it's been added. Now just like the actors, you can double click on it and give a description. You can um, take pictures, add them here so everybody knows what they're going to look like, etc. If we go back to a script. So you would do that for everything. For example, there's black suits, white shirts, that would be an, an item as well. Black ties. In fact, in this, in this term you'd want to add these twice because you would be having two of each of these because both characters are dressed the same. Now what we need to do is we need to look at some props. So here's one, two shovels. Scroll to props, click add. There we have our props, double click on it again. We can add a description. We can add pictures of them, um, how we're going to procure them. 
Uh, you can also put in information about how much they're going to cost, etc., things like that. But there's another bud uh, budget breakdown in this program. We'll do that later. So you go through your entire script, do each scene one at a time, uh, characters, props, wardrobe. You may want to go, um, there's woodland scene, maybe go up to location, add location. Here we go into location here. Again, we're going to have, uh, we're going to be able to give uh, good descriptions of the location. We're going to talk a little bit about location scouting later, so we'll probably talk about fill, uh, filling in these op different options. And yeah, so you do that with everything. Now you see a vast array of options up here, so, that, so it should really cater for everything in your script that you can possibly have. And uh, there's even an interest in production notes uh, option if you've added production notes into your scene and they can get put alongside your script breakdown as well so anyway once we've done that we've went through let's say we've went through the entire scene we've highlighted everything that we need to highlight these things should have been added into your props catalog um, or your uh, character catalog your wardrobe catalog um, if you double click on these it will just give you a list of what's in your uh, props uh, section and that's good for people that are going to have to basically procure these items for you or you're probably going to need to have to do it. Um, you'll notice that everything's colour coded, there's a specific colour coding for script breakdown and Keltex does that all automatically which is great. This all can be done by hand, but in today's day and age, if you're watching this, assume you have a computer, this is a free program, you know, so really you should be able to, to use this uh, to do this, and it's much, much quicker. And finally, once we've done everything for the entire script, we would click Reports down here. And you'll see here now we've got Scene 1, Exterior, Thick Woods, Day, Character, Mike, Alan, Wardrobe, Black Suits. Uh, I've added two shovels in twice there. <laughs> um, so we've got props, location, and you just have a list of everything. And you would also ha be able to, if you click the scene breakdown with description, the description that you've put in for each element will also be included. Uh, like that there. Actually, that's the description, two shovels. And then I've just put in two brown shovels just as an example. Uh, you will have the description for each thing. If you just click scene breakdown, you'll just get the actual... Uh, elements that you need without the description and uh, just like any other part of this program you can print this off uh, which is really handy to have um, you can also save it as a PDF file like the, the other um, the other options in the in the in the program so that's basically your production breakdown it's an essential part of filmmaking. It can be a little bit tedious if you have a large script with a lot of elements, but it can really, uh, it keeps you on track, it can keep you within budget, and it keeps you knowing exactly, exactly what you need for every single scene to be shot, because so many people jump into filmmaking and they go to try and make something, and they just, they organize having people turn up on the day, and they realize they don't have everything to, to film their scene. It's an easy thing to do, we've all been there, I've been there, um, I'm sure every filmmaker's been there at some point. But if you're doing this, um, you should have no complaints with you know getting everything there that you need. And uh, if you've got a production manager, then all the better, they'll do this for you. <clears throat> but we'll um, talk about the production manager's job in another video in the future. So this is your script breakdown and uh, it's between the production script breakdown and the creative script breakdown we did in the last video, this is really an essential part of filmmaking. I'm not an organised person, so I find it hard to do this stuff, but I always make sure now that I do do it because uh, it just saves you so much hassle. Alright, on to the next video.